Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for the technical issues, but our event will start at 9.30 a.m. Please be reminded to mute your microphone at all times. The Nagaraku and Putra Gamilang will be played shortly, but you may remain seated. We also encourage you to turn on your cameras and we thank you for your patience. While waiting, you can also check out Lex Day Blogspot at www.lexday2023.blogspot.com. The link will also be sent in the chat box and you can fill in the attendance form in that blog. So check it out right now.
A very good morning to our honorable guests and everyone who is watching this live from Zoom and Facebook Live. I am Youngju. And I am Harilyn. We, we will be your MCs for, for today's, today's event. event. So, how is everyone? Are you feeling excited? Send us some reactions in the comment section. Wow, Youngju, once again, there are so many students who are joining us here today. And I hope all of you are just as excited as we are right now. That's right, Harilyn. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's start the event with Nagaraku and Putra Gamilan. Before we move to our first session, let us welcome Mr. Fami to lead the Do'a recitation. Al-Fatiha. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin Ashrafil Anbiya wal Mursalin. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Allahumma anta salam. Wa minka salam. Wa ilayka ya'udu salam. Fahayyina rabbana bis salam. Wa adkhilna jannata daru salam. Tabarat rabbana wa ta'alik. Ya zal jalali wal ikram. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Praise be to Allah, Lord of the world. Let your blessings and your peace be on your servant and your messenger, Muhammad, and on his family and his companions. Allah, Maya Allah, on this glorious day, in conjunction with our event, let's day 2023, we uphold our hands to pray gratefully, to thank on your infinite favor to us, Till we can live in peace and harmony to perform our tasks as your servants. O oh Allah, we ask your blessings to make this occasion in success. Allah maya yu ya koyum ya zal jalal wal ikram. You are the mercy of their mercies and you are the Lord of the universe. Give us mercy from your presence and shape for us right conduct in our plight. We ask you for knowledge which is beneficial and sustenance which is good and deeds which are acceptable. O oh Allah, help us to remember you, to thank you and to worship you in the best of manners. Forgive us, have mercy upon us, guide us, give us health and grant us sustenance. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa kina azab al-nar wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad Thank you, Mr. Fami, for the beautiful doa. May our event today go smoothly. By the way, Youngju, do you know that VIPs are here to grace the event? Oh, yes, I do. I heard about that. Let's introduce them to our guest, Harold. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce our VIPs who have graciously accepted our invitation to join us today. Yang Barusaha, Dr. Husni Tahab Sabintion, Director of Center for the Advancement of Language Competence, Count UPM. Yang Barusaha, Puan Fauzia Hanim, Binti Ahmad Shari, Deputy Director of Count UPM. Yang Barusaha, Dr. Sanima Binti Hussein, Head of Malay Language and Global Language Proficiency Division, Count UPM. Yang Dihormati, Unchik Muhammad Shafiq bin Maslan, Program Director for Lex Day 2023. Deans of Faculties, all the committee members, staffs and students who are present here today, welcome, welcome to, to Lex Day 2023. 2023. Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, now I would like to invite the Program Director, Mr. Muhammad Shafiq, to deliver the speech. Please welcome. Okay, thank you to our chairperson. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to everyone. Yang berbahagia, Dr. Husnita Hapsayon, Director of the Center for the Advancements of Language Competence. Yang berbahagia, Deans of Faculties Universiti Putra Malaysia. Yang dihormati, Puan Fauzi Hanim Ahmad Shari, Deputy Director of Center for the Advancements of Language Competence. Yang dihormati Dr. Sanima Hussein, Head of the Malay Language and Global Languages Proficiency Division, CALP UPM. All committee members, students and staff present here today. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to be here with you today as the program director of this remarkable event. Last day is a testament to the hard work and undivided commitments of students who have devoted themselves to language learning. To all students who are here today, I would like to express our deepest appreciation for your efforts in embracing language learning diversity. Let's Day 2023 offers opportunity for students to engage in a diverse range of compelling activities such as Let's Trivia, Let's Day competitions, as well as Let's Talk forum session. Our esteemed panelists of Let's Talk, consisting of both students and instructors, will provide significant insight during the session. I am confident that a program of this nature will assist UPM students in discovering their passions, enhancing their cognitive skills, as well as improving their speaking abilities. 
Next, I would like to express my gratitude to the hardworking committee members. I am truly thankful for your passion, dedication, and hard work in making Let's Day 2023 a success. Your collaborative efforts, attention to detail, and creative visions has transformed this event into a stage where the beauty of Lex activities can shine. You have made a significant impact and I am deeply grateful for everything that you have done. With that being said, I would like to end my speech here. Enjoy yourself and thank you everyone. Thank you so much, Mr. Shafiq, for the speech. And now we would like to invite Dr. Husnita, Director of Cal QPM, to deliver her speech. Thank you. Um, can you all hear me? Yes. Right. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And a very good morning to everyone. Yang berusaha, Puan Fauzia Hanim Ahmad Sha'ari, Deputy Director of Centre for the Advancement of Language Competence, Kelp APM. Yang berusaha, Dr. Sani Mahusin, Head of the Malay Language and Global Languages Proficiency Division, Kelp UPM. Yang dihormati, Encik Muhammad Shafiq bin Mazlan, Program Director of Lex Day 2023, Deans and Directors, students and everyone present here today. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, I would like to applaud the English Language Division for doing a remarkable job in organizing the virtual Lex Day event. Lex Day is organized every year to provide a stage for students to showcase their work to all of UPM. It acts as the centerpiece of LEX, which was launched in 2013 along with the English Language Experience LEX package. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, this is the fourth year running that LEX Day has been held on an online platform. We're thrilled to welcome everyone to participate in LEX Day remotely to commemorate students' efforts and diligence. Lex is an example of CELC's effort to diversify the teaching and learning methods. Education is never just limited to the classroom. Students should not be confined just to formal education. Learning can be fun and interesting, stemming from the varying Lex activities students participate in. This is essential in boosting students' confidence in their ability to communicate in English beyond the classroom. Through the meticulously designed activities outside the classrooms, Lex activities are student-centered and emphasize soft skills as well as creativity. These activities help students improve their communication skills in English, which increases their marketability in addition to increasing their confidence. We want our students to be lifelong learners and what better way to achieve that, that than by engaging them in platforms such as Lex activities where learning takes on a whole new meaning. We hope that students will take advantage of the Lex activities as through imaginative and enjoyable project-based learning. They're able to turn this into a lifelong practice of continual English language learning. In short, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to the organizing committee led by Inche Shafiq for their dedication and hard work in making this program a success. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I hope the Lux activities had been a memorable experience for all. May this program continue to benefit all UPM students for years to come. And with that, I end my speech. Sekian wa bilahi taufiq wal hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Husnida, for your inspiring speech. Our event will not be complete without the speech from the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academy and International, 
Professor Dr. Asmi Arif Ismail. Since Professor Dr. Asmi Arif Ismail is unable to join us today, we'll be watching a recorded video of him. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good morning to everyone. Yang bersaha Dr. Usdita Habsahyun, Director of the Center for the Advancement of Language Competence, CLC UPM. Yang bersaha Puan Fauziah Ahmad Syari, Deputy Director of CLC UPM. Yang bersaha Dr. Sanima Hussein, Head of the Malay Language and Global Languages Proficiency Division, CLC UPM. Yang dihormati Encik Muhammad Shafiq bin Mazlan, the Program Director of Lex Day 2023, Deans and Directors, Students and everyone present here today. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am honoured to be here today to witness the inspiring initiative of CLC setting a commendable example in diversifying our teaching and learning approaches. The traditional confines of the classroom no longer limit our pursuit of knowledge. True learning transcends traditional textbooks and lectures. Learning can bring excitement and enthusiasm. We inspire our students to embrace lifelong learning and there is no better approach than to engage them in platforms such as this. We welcome activities, games, competitions and programs that help make learning memorable and impactful. I am pleased to hear about Lex Day 2023, a one-day program that allows students to showcase their work to the UPM community. I would like to offer my sincerest gratitude and applause to the event committee and CALC. The implementation of activities outside the traditional classroom setting holds immense relevance in transforming education today. Field trips, community service and extracurricular activities not only enhance academic understanding but also foster skills such as problem solving, teamwork and leadership. Engaging in hands-on experiences outside the classroom nurtures creativity and curiosity, encouraging students to explore diverse fields of interest. Moreover, these activities promote social interaction and cultural awareness that help students prepare for the globalized world they will navigate in the future. Education is continuing to evolve to meet the demands of modernity and cater to the changing generation of students. To this generation is characterized by a strong preference for interactive learning experiences over passive absorption of information. They refuse to be mere spectators in the classroom. Instead, they seek active engagement and participation. Interactive learning tools, online platforms and educational applications have become integral to the learning process. These digital resources offer immersive experiences that encourage students to explore, question and experiment. Moreover, the modern generation values peer-to-peer -peer interaction, group discussions and collaborative projects, all of which promote critical thinking and problem-solving skills. We, as educators, must make a continuous effort to keep abreast with this transformation. UPM has always kept up with these changes. We have not only adjusted and embraced the new educational standards, but have also excelled at every stage of this process. In line with this, we welcome and support any initiatives that help us maintain a strong presence in the global education landscape. On that note, I would like to say well done to CLC. Alhamdulillah. Ladies and gentlemen, I would also like to applaud all students who are involved in today's program. 
It is hoped that your journey through this program has granted you invaluable insights and experiences that will be treasured for a lifetime. I believe a program like this will help undergraduate students explore their interests, build emotional resilience, and at the same time, speak more confidently. The Lex Day 2033 is in line with the University Putra Malaysia Strategic Plan 2021-2035, which is to nurture graduates who are resilient to the challenges ahead. UPM is dedicated to improving the quality of education by focusing on talent development and strengthening the cultivation of lifelong learning to diversify our teaching and learning approaches. William Butler Yeats once said, education is not the feeling of a pill, but the lighting of a fire. Learning is a continuous and transformative process, not a one-time event. Embrace the joy of learning in its diverse forms. Seize every opportunity to expand your knowledge and continue to improve yourselves. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I hereby officiate the next day, 2033. Sekian, wabilahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And salam sejahtera. Thank you. Thank you so much for the inspiring video, Professor Dr. Ismi Arif Ismail. Up next, let us watch a short montage about Lex Day 2023. Assalamualaikum and so hi everyone. This Welcome everyone. Uh, so today will be uh, the Lex Day. Lex Day. Uh, Lex Day. This. Lex Day. Lex Day. Lex Day. Lex Day. Lex Day. The Lex Day. I I hope that everyone can enjoy Lex Day. That was remarkable. Don't you think so, Harold? Yes, Yongju, it truly was. Well, now we have yet another interesting session named Lex Talk. As you all know, Lex is a platform that allows students to engage in many interactive language activities. We have DIY project, Let's Play, karaoke, poetic society, and many more. So now, let's hear what the students have to say about Lex. In this segment, students will be sharing their experiences and thoughts about Lex activities that they have enrolled. Without further ado, let's welcome the moderator for the Lex Talk segment, Ms. Farhana. Hello, everyone. Assalamualaikum and good morning. Welcome to Lex Day, Kate. I hope everyone is having a great time watching Lex Day. Um, now we have come to the Lex Talk segment. 
Okay, so my name is Farhana and I will be your moderator today. Firstly, thank you everyone for watching this segment. A special welcome to Professor Dr. Ismi Arif Ismail, the Deputy Vice Chancellor for Academic and International Matters, Dr. Husnita Hapsahyon, the Director of Center for the Advancement of Language Competence, CALC, Wan Fauzia Hanim Ahmad Sha'ari, the Deputy Director of CALC, Dr. Salima Hussein, the Head of Malay Language and Global Language Proficiency Division, Mr. Muhammad Shafiq Mazlan, the Director of LAX Day 2023, Dean and Lecturers of Faculties, CALC Teachers, Students, and all guests viewing it. Let's get started. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, okay, the main objective of LAX is actually to give students the opportunity to practice the English language with their peers, okay, while completing or participating in fun language activities. The idea of this segment, LAX Talk, um, is actually to share thoughts, experiences, and even insights on LAX. For today's segment, we have great lineup of panelists that consists of students who have taken LACs and also teachers who have supervised LACs. So basically today we have three sessions, okay? We have the student panelists for session one and two, and later we will have the teacher panelists in session three. Okay, let's get started. Are you ready? Yes, okay. So without further ado, okay, let's start with the first session. Okay, so today I have with me, I know, Ilya and... Rafisa. Okay, so which faculty are you from? Uh, hi everyone, I am Ainur Sofia binti Muhammad Nizam and I am from Faculty of Food Science and Technology. Mm -hmm. Hi, I am Ilya Daini Azaman and I'm from Faculty of Food Science and Technology. Hi, I'm Rafisa Atira binti Muhammad Fazil and I'm also from Faculty of Food Science and Technology. Ah, I have three food tech students here. Mm -hmm. Food tech rules, okay. So now let's start with the very first question for Rafisa, okay? So Rafisa, mm, before you enrolled in any LEX uh, activity last time, what was your initial impression towards LEX activities? Um, so basically, and now, has it met or differed from your expectations? Okay, thank you, Ms. Pahana, for the question. So my first impression for the English language discussion activity was, I, I think it must be very challenging and also fun at the same time. You thought? You yes. thought it was challenging. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm sure that this uh engaging activity will help will helps me a lot in in improving my communication skills. And for information, this is not my first time taking Let's course, mm -hmm. and this is my third time. And so along the Let's activities, I realized that the discussion for the various topic uh has enhanced my critical thinking and also fostered the confidence uh in expressing ideas. And I think the the effectiveness of the LEX activities uh, met my expectation it, and also because I think it provides opportunities mm -hmm. for the meaningful English language mm -hmm. practice. Okay. So it wasn't actually tough, right? Yeah. Okay. How about you, Ilya? What was your initial expectation and has it met or differed from your expectation? Mm, as for me, mm -hmm. mm, for the first time as I entered the UPM and this is my first time hearing about Lex and I think it's unique because mm -hmm. it's my first time hearing about that and we have to take Lex, right? And my first impression, very first impression as I read, if I read through the list name of the titles of mm -hmm. Lex activities, I found all of them were interesting, are interesting. Mm -hmm. And I would love to try all of them but I do know that I cannot try all of, all of them, right? So... My first impression is it was interesting and fun. And it turns out after I've taken two LEX activities, it did meet my expectation mm -hmm. where it did fine. Okay, okay, good. Good to hear that overall, yeah. you know, it made an impression to you and it was good. Um, If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. um, I think UPM is the first, is it safe to say that UPM is the first uni that implements something like LEX? And I think I've heard that, you know, other public universities are also, you know, trying to to um, have courses, something like LAX, okay, where the students can use English in a relaxed setting. Yeah. Okay. So the next question, I know. Okay. Um, as you navigate through the discussion, are there any specific challenges you've encountered in expressing yourself in English? So did you have any difficulty 
and how did you overcome it? Uh, thank you, Ms. Farna, for the mm -hmm. question. Okay, um, for your information, I'm taking language R as my labs for this semester. Mm -hmm. And there's one time my team decided to choose a phone case uh, for, our, uh, for our art for that week. So I decided to make a phone case based on my favorite movie, which is La La Land mm. with the quote, City of Stars are you shining just for me. I don't know whether you guys ever heard the yeah. quotes before. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it is quite a challenge for me to present uh, that art to my friend because I just don't want my friend to only uh, grab the message of the movie. I want them to capture the essence of the film itself. Mm -hmm. So as we all know that La La Land was a great movie full of emotion and atmosphere. So I'm afraid that my presentation or my explanation will fall too blunt and, hard, uh, and it's not convey not and enough. fail to convey mm -hmm. what the magic I felt when I watched the movie itself. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I do is I'm trying to watch a lot of English movie mm -hmm. and read a lot of English book to hopefully improve my English. Mm. So I think that's... What, what was the aspect that you wanted to improve more when you watched um, the movie? Well, I like to improve my tone, like my maintaining the natural and engaging tone mm -hmm. because I'm too afraid that the presentation with uh, monotone, like, Monotonous. Yeah, ah. monotonous. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, yeah. I think watching movie, English movies, is one of the great ways or fun ways um to actually, you know, uh, work on your intonation. Yeah, correct. Okay. And yes, um, City of Stars, uh, La La Land is very dreamy indeed. I love that movie. Okay, so moving on to the third question, Ilya. Ready? Okay. During your participation in any lax activity. Were there any specific instances or moments that stood out as particularly funny or interesting? Mm, as far as I remember, mm -hmm. the most memorable scene during my Lex activities is when during the MCO, where we do the online session from home, mm -hmm. where all of them at home, mm -hmm. and there are always background noises, like we can hear people singing in the back, we can hear people yawning. Sometimes there are also the bickering sound of dogs and cats as usual. Mm -hmm. And there's some cute distraction from one of my teammates that is he was presenting during that time. And he there was a disturbance from her his cat. Mm. Where the cat blocked the camera, mm. he's presenting, and the cat blocked the camera, and suddenly we, we can only see the very ball. Horrible. Yeah. <laughs> and he's suddenly dark, and mm -hmm. we can only hear his voice, mm -hmm. and he just, we can, we can see, like, uh, he pet his too, mm. and yeah. Fun to watch, huh? Yeah, fun to watch. Yeah, I think being students, you just have that kind of distraction. Yeah, yeah. But being teachers like us, like me, for example, you will hear some small kids or babies crying at the back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, having um, lax discussion during the MCO, I think the fun, not to say fun, but memorable part could be that. Mm -hmm. yeah, fun instance. Okay, so what about you, Ainur? Could you share any specific anecdote or example that made the experience memorable to you? Uh, okay, first of all, mm -hmm. I want to give a shout out to my team members. <laughs> uh, hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, Nadira, Tankahjun, Haris, Akil, and also Abdul. Thank I you for being. Watching. Yeah, I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for being such a nice team member mm -hmm. because despite the busy schedules, they always come to the meeting with energy, energy and passion. So I passion. So I was like. Uh, the meeting always been so fine for me. Good, good. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, and there's one particularly hilarious moment. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it is hilarious or not, okay. but you judge it uh, by yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one time I've been uh, disconnect the mid-meeting. So when I was too engrossed with Nadira's presentation, and then poof, the Zoom went dark. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, I tried to reconnect back. When I reconnect, the they are already debating where uh, which piece of art is the best. Okay. So it's like I feel bad and guilty at that time. But my team members are they are so supportive and mm -hmm. kind, and they say that it's not a big deal. We already uh discuss it and all. Mm -hmm. So I'm so grateful to have them as my team members. True. Thank I you. Think, um, having great uh supportive members is also a blessing in life, yeah. right? I mean, it will make it easier for you to to do your task. Okay. 
Okay, how about you, Rafisa? So did you find any, or do you remember any memorable moments? Uh, yes. Uh, the latest life activities I joined was language art. Mm -hmm. So there is one of our group members that always came out with her, sorry. with her, sorry. It's okay, it's okay. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that always came out with her outstanding and also creative uh, artworks. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for example, when we decided to to do a bookmark for our project, mm -hmm. she she came up with the idea that she came up with the idea that I never thought to do it, and <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Advertisement. <laughs> okay. okay. And uh, she made a bookmark from mm -hmm. dried leaf. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, it's not just that. For the next next day, she always came came out with the with the ideas that are that very creative mm -hmm. and I'm always yes, waiting. never thought of it yes yeah. and I'm I'm so and I'm always waiting for our, our work mm. okay thinking about dried leaves lately you know um I've watched this one video of an artist um he carved I think it's uh, it's an Indonesian man he carved on a leaf okay he made uh, portraits of people okay and he carved it out and then he put it at the sun okay you can see the face there mm -hmm. okay yeah i think um any art or, or even a book mark in form of using uh the dry leaf could be very aesthetic looking yeah okay last question last but not least and then later we can fix this coffee mess okay <laughs> um i know okay as a current lab student um what specific improvement changes or new elements do you hope to see uh to see implemented in the future and how do you envision these enhancements contributing to your overall learning experience uh, thank you miss farhana mm -hmm. okay so for me i would like to suggest debate as the new lex activity because mm -hmm. i think that debate is so fun mm -hmm. for a certain student and uh despite of they they can uh, improve the communication skill of a student uh, debate also can help us to improve our critical thinking skill. Mm -hmm. So I think because in debate, we have to do a lot of research. Correct. So mm -hmm. it will help the student to be a research expertise. And also they can improve their communication skill and critical thinking skill. So in the meantime, we can provide a lot of interesting topics mm -hmm. uh, covering economy or politics, or environmental, and even humorous motion also mm -hmm. can be fine for them to do, right? Mm -hmm. So I think debate can help uh, students not only in their studies, mm -hmm. but also in their future careers in the future. Thank true, you. true. I would say that um, no one can be in a debate without doing any research, right? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. A debate to boost language skills and also critical thinking skills because they have to do some research, right? Okay. I think it's a great idea. So for your information, those who are watching and also you ladies, okay. So for your information, everyone, actually we do organize a competition called Create a New Lex Competition every year before Lex Day, okay? So where you can actually turn your own hobby or anything that you like into a Lex activity that you would love to enjoy or enroll, okay? So maybe you could do that in the future, I know. You can suggest a debate as a Lex activity and maybe, you know, sure. our coordinator can, yeah can um, suggest it and, and implement it in UPS. I think that will be fun, okay? Okay, so that marks the end of our first LAC session, okay? Please give a round of applause to our student panelists, okay? Right, thank you so much for being with us today, but make sure you come back. We have session two after this, okay? So, and now it's time for trivia round one. Okay, over to you, Harith and Nafisa. Thank you, moderator. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the thrilling Lex Trivia session. I'm your host, Harith. And we've got an exciting lineup of questions. Get ready to showcase your knowledge. Have some fun. And most importantly, there will be a cash prize awaiting the winner. Apisa, do you know anything about the cash prize? Yes, for the first question, each question will be rewarded with R40. Before we start this session, 
would you mind telling us how it is going to work? Of course, Nakisa. This is how it works. I'll ask a series of questions about various lax activities. All you have to do is type your answers in the comment sections on our official Facebook page. There will be three rounds of lax trivia, and each round you will be asked two questions. Simple, right? The more correct answers you give, the better your chances of winning the exciting cash prize. Feel the feet and eat. Type your responses. Let's who emerges as the ultimate Lex Trivia champion. Without further ado, let the Lex Trivia begin. Get ready to type your answers in the comments section. Good luck, everyone. Okay. Are you ready? The first question is, what is Lex 2047? Is it A, Malaysian heroes, B, after five, or C, poetic society? A gentle reminder, please type your answers in A, B, or C only. All right, type your answers in the comment box and let's see who got the correct answer. Excellent response, folks. Now, let's keep the energy high in our second question. How many points is left? 2025 parody. A, 6 point left. B, 10 point left. Or C, 12 point left. What's your answer? Type it in the comment box. Let's see who's the fastest. Dear participants, please check your message box to see if you are chosen as the winner after the trivia session. Wow, looking all the answers. We can see A, we can see six points. Okay, a gentle reminder to all participants, just type A, B, or C only. Six points? Wow, a lot of them are six points. Okay, let's see who is our destined winner for the first round. Give a round of applause to the Priscilla George who answered the second questions with the answer A, six point lax. Unfortunately for the first questions, there are no answers given. So thank you so much for participating on this first session. Congratulations to Mr. Scott. And for those of you looking for a chance to win, don't worry. We still have two more sessions to go. So stay tuned and stay with us until the end of the program. See you soon. I'll pass the stage back to the MC.
Okay, welcome back everyone. Okay, welcome back to Let's Talk. So this is session two. For this session, we have three student panelists. Okay, say hello to Risk, Murshid, and Anissa. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Anissa, <laughs> you sound sleepy. Okay, all right, let's begin. Okay, so we shall start with a question for all of them, for the three of them. Okay, so Anissa, right. What advice or specific tips would you offer to new students who are about to embark on any LAX activity to maximize their success and engagement in the program? Okay, well, so first of all, you can uh, try it as to see, to view LAX as an opportunity for improvement. While LAX may not be graded or impact your transcript in any ways, consider it as a valuable opportunity for you to enhance your English and communication skills. You see, the problem is because it does not affect your grade or your transcript, most students see it as another responsibility or commitment that they have to commit. True. So that is what makes it difficult for them to fully engage in LAX activities. So instead of doing that, try to see it as with a mindset of a learning experience. It use it for as a chance to discover for for you to discover and develop new linguistic abilities. And second would be embrace diversity and knowledge as exchange. Mm -hmm. So take advantage of the diverse environment that Lex gives you. So engage with students from various courses during meetings and discussions. So through the LEX activity, it provides you a platform for you, <clears throat> for you to share your knowledge and learn from students from other courses. Mm -hmm. So it fosters a good collaborative and enriching experience. And the third one is select enjoyable LAX activities. Okay, so from previous discussion, from the first session, it is said that the LAX, the LAX list has a long list of activities that they provide for you to choose from. Choose the ones that attract your interest. Choose something that you would like to do. By choosing activities that you like to do that interest you, it not only ensures a more enjoyable experience, but it also facilitates connection with students, with classmates who share the same interests as you. So through that, it contributes to making the overall experience of Lex more engaging and more rewarding. Ah, thank you, Anissa. Okay, let me just recap what you have said just now. Um. Number one, okay, instead of just making it like a commitment, okay, try to really, you know, do it for fun. And number two, you were saying um, try to also get to know other people, okay? Because, you know, um, yes, I do agree with you. I think that um, LAX is also another way for you to practice because in real life later on when you work, you do have to um, speak or, or deal with, with other people, okay? It could be <coughs> Malaysia or any other country and number three also choose the likes that you that you like okay because we have a list of long list of likes choose something that you like yeah true I agree with you Anissa okay how about you Murshid what do you suggest to these new students to maximize their success and engagement in likes okay all right okay thank you so much Ms. Marhana for the question Okay, so I think it is the same as encouraging students to learn English you know as a TESOL student, our lecturers always remind us to make the lessons, the activity in class enjoyable, okay? It is because that we want our students to have fun. So it's actually the same with LEX. I would advise the new students to think of LEX as some enjoyable program, okay? Don't think of LEX as something difficult a hustle thing for you to do instead enjoy the lax okay you know because the more you enjoy doing something the better your experience will be okay so from my experience okay before this i took uh lax language art okay so i have to create uh bookmarks photo frames postcard posters yeah and i did like a frame 
Okay, so yeah, um, all of us, okay, in my group, none of us are Leonardo da Vinci, so which means our art is not that bombastic, yeah, but it's still our art and it's all the best one that we can produce, okay, so yes, we are happy with it, and sometimes we laugh at each other when we look at our own art, it looks kind of funny, but after all, we the one that made it, so we should be proud. Okay, yeah. and yes, that was very enjoyable and so on. And yeah, each one you know actually scientifically approved that whenever you enjoy doing something, then you're gonna have a better outcome. So, student, basically, please, please, and please enjoy the Lex program. Mm, scientifically approved, huh? <laughs> okay, yes, please enjoy Lex. Okay. So, how about you, Risk? What would you recommend to the new LAG students out there? Okay, uh, thank you, Ms. Raina, for the question. Uh, similar to what uh, Anissa and uh, Murshid has mentioned, I do think that uh, new students should think of LAG as a fun activity instead of it being a subject or something they have to fulfill for their academics. This is because uh, LAG is part of uh, the enjoyable part of being a degree student, especially in meeting new people in friendly setting because you don't get to experience much of these once uh, you graduate from your university. And other than that, you can also get to know not only local students, but if you have chances, maybe with the international students as well, as there's limited interactions uh, outside the likes activities. And you also get to know these students who are beyond your courses, your college, your faculties, so my suggestion would be to use Lex as a platform for networking for mm. your future success and career. Mm. Yeah, I agree with that because you know, um, Lex activities you are not just necessary not necessarily in a team, uh, with students from your faculty. It could be other courses, other faculties. Um, you could be in a team with um, you know, international students. Yes, I think it's a very good way to build up your networking there. Okay. Thank you, Risk. Okay, so now the next question is for Murshid. Okay, for your information, everyone. Okay, so Murshid is our TESOL student from the Faculty of Educational Studies. Yeah. All right, Murshid. Okay, how effectively has LAG enhanced your confidence as a speaker of the English language? So can you provide any specific examples or instances that highlight the impact of LAG, especially on your confidence level? All right, that's such an interesting question, actually. Okay, so maybe we can take a look back on the question, why some people are not confident. Okay, you know, nowadays, like, students are afraid to speak in English. Okay, so it is because they are afraid of being judged, being looked down. Okay, so yeah, some of them are like that. But uh, from my experience, lags absolutely have improved my confidence. Okay, so you know what? For each lag session, we have to present our idea and so on. So I was very nervous okay, every time I want to present. But when I present my idea during the lag session, my group mate support me and praise me for that amazing art. <laughs> and then suddenly I realized that all of this is just my overthinking. Mm -hmm. There are people out there that think that I can speak well in English eventually. Okay. Mm -hmm. So nowadays, so whenever we have like a group presentation in class and so on, I would be a volunteer to present. Okay. One of the reasons is because I don't want to make the slides. Okay, you know, making a slide will take a lot of time. Yeah, I we are students, we are busy, so yeah. It would be better if I just contribute by presenting. Yeah. And yes, um, I did some mistakes sometimes in terms of pronunciation and grammar, but hey, nobody's perfect, right? So yeah. And one thing that you need to know is whenever you speak, the main focus is for you to deliver the message. As long as you can do that, then you don't have to be nervous. Just be confident whenever you speak. Mm. Ah, now I know your trick already. You prefer to 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 present instead of doing the work, huh? <laughs> okay, yes. Um, I do agree with you, especially our local students, right? Um, most students they are afraid of making mistakes. Okay, they don't feel comfortable using the language. 
uh, maybe they're afraid of being judged. Maybe they're afraid of making grammatical mistakes. Okay, but hey, you know, you know, likes is supposed to give you. Uh, it, it's supposed to be a platform for you to be using the language in a very relaxed manner. You can joke around. You can laugh. Okay, there's no, there's no. Yeah, it's, it's not supposed to be stressful. So if there's anyone, any student who are afraid, uh, who is afraid with lags, do not be afraid. Just speak out. If Even if you make any mistakes, yeah, just, just, just go ahead, okay? No one will judge you, okay? Because it's supposed to be a relaxed setting, okay? Okay, so risk. Yeah, I'd like to ask you the same question, risk. For your information, everyone, um, risk is our only student panelist today who have graduated from UPM and she is currently working as a part-time lecturer. Mm. Okay, so Risk, how did Lex um, enhance your confidence in using English language? Because I think I remember you to, uh, you telling me before um, that you were an extrovert or you are an extro uh, extrovert, sorry, introvert. Okay, you are an <laughs> introvert. So yes. how did actually Lex uh, enhance your confidence in using language and how does it benefit you later especially um, in job seeking process and also when you are working right now okay thank you for the question um so, mm -hmm. so first of all uh, regarding me being an introvert i am still an introvert uh, however mm -hmm. during my like session back then uh, i had a lot of supportive team members who were always making the atmosphere uh, sorry atmosphere really comfortable for me to speak so thank you a very big thank you to them even until now, I have that a lot of confidence to speak, especially in a setting with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Okay, and secondly, um, I'm pretty sure most of the students will undergo through their first phase of job seeking, which mm -hmm. is the interview session, mm -hmm. which is either a one-to-one -one session with their future employers or in a group setting. So similar to Lex, uh, it's done in a group setting where you do group discussions. However, there's, oh, there might be some parts of the discussion where there's a one-to-one -one communication between you and another member or other members as well, which in this setting, uh, from my previous experience in Lex, has helped me a lot to gain the confidence mm -hmm. uh, to be able to speak, uh, especially with that critical thinking. We have to immediately think of something on the spot because... You know, uh, with little preparations that we did, we just got on with the recording sessions. So yes, that has helped me to gain a lot of confidence during my previous interview sessions. And secondly, for my current job setting, as you've mentioned, I'm currently working as a part-time lecturer in a, a private college in Kuala Lumpur. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks, a big thank you to the previous like, session as well. I've gained that confidence to speak not only in front of my about 60 plus students wow. but also in front of those who are involved in my work this mm -hmm. yeah. okay good okay that that is a very good sharing session on um, risk because you know um i feel that you know students sometimes when they enroll in lags or any um english language courses they are just thinking about about passing the course, okay, or, or scoring, uh, increasing, you know, scoring grade mark for their CGPA or things like that. But actually, yeah, take note because whatever that you have learned in LAGS, okay, the, you will definitely use it later in life when you are working, when you are looking for a job, interview, when you're having meetings, like what Riz mentioned just now, okay? And you will also use your critical thinking at the same time because you don't get, sometimes you don't get to prepare beforehand, and everything will be, you know, uh, impromptu. Yeah, okay? So don't just take likes as something that you have to pass. Also think about something that you are learning, okay, as your life skill so that it can be beneficial for you in the future. Mm. Okay? All right, Risk. So I heard that last time you actually enrolled uh, for the old likes program, which was before the pandemic, right? Yes. Okay, so um, last time, everyone, it wasn't done online, okay, like now, but students had to gather and uh, meet face-to-face. -face. So, Riz, in your mm. experience in LEX last time, okay, if you want to compare it with now, do you have mm. any specific suggestions or recommendations for further improvement in the program? Okay, uh, if you feel like, is there any things that you would like to, you know, suggest to us to refine on to support mm. student uh, learning and engagement? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay, so first of all, um, as Ms. Arnal mentioned, uh, like before the pandemic, our live session was all physical. So we had to find a time 
uh, for everybody together and record the video together. Mm -hmm. And uh, so back then, uh, one of the most famous likes activities is likes 2015, which is have food will travel. And this is because um, all the students will physically travel to restaurants mm -hmm. or eateries or where, wherever they can go, which for UPM students is usually around Serdang, uh, Kajang and Bangi. Mm -hmm. Because back then in IOI City Mall, there were not, there wasn't that many uh, eateries as there is right now. Mm -hmm. So we would travel around to go to interesting cafes, interesting restaurants and anything that we can eat. Uh, even back then when Boba was first introduced, that was Good quite feeling. famous. Yes. <laughs> So it was personally for me, it was also one of my greatest joy during likes because we, me and my team members were bonding and learning new things over food. Plus mm -hmm. most of my members that time were those from different faculties and different courses. So I have never met any of them before I did these likes. So for the future recommendation, I would recommend a more physical form of likes, maybe with a higher points, maybe like 12 points to be introduced. Mm -hmm. This is because a more face-to-face -face engagement with proper will really in, uh, improve the students' communication skills. And despite there being an increase in COVID cases lately, I'm pretty sure this can be implemented with proper precautions in place. Mm, okay. I like that idea. A more physical form of lax as a 12-point lax activity. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's a good suggestion. Yeah, maybe um, the team can take into... We'll take note on that and take it take it into consideration because nowadays um lex is done online i would say that in terms of convenience it is very convenient for the students to meet up because they can just be anywhere but yes i do agree with you um on on student engagement in terms of the relationship or the bonding that they have with other students definitely it is much better when it is done offline yeah, I think Lex team will have to think about that later, huh? Okay, thank you. That, that's such a great suggestion. Okay, and the last question goes to Anissa. Okay, for information, everyone. Okay, I know that Anissa sound, uh, sounded a little bit um, <laughs> like she just woke up. Okay, so for your information, everyone, Anissa is a student from the Faculty of Modern Languages and Communication. Okay, and she is currently in a mobility program again. Okay, um, hence she is joining us live today from Budapest okay so that's why she's now so sleepy okay so Anissa what time is it now in Budapest and how's the weather now in Budapest so right now it is 3 30 and 3 the weather is 8 30 right? in the morning <laughs> <laughs> and the weather is six degrees we're in the middle of winter so it's I quite see. cold these days <laughs> Six degrees. Eventually, will you have snow there or, or not? Usually. We had snow a few times. It's not, doesn't snow every day. It's like on and off. Sometimes it's warm, but some, and then the next day will be snowing throughout the whole day. I see. That is nice. Okay. So, Anissa, in retrospect, how do you think lax activity contributed to your overall improvement in English language skills, especially in terms of speaking and communication? So the first uh, would be my diversified vocabulary expansion. Mm -hmm. So by engaging in LAX, it, it allows me to learn a broader range of vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So I purposely chose lex activities that differ significantly from the syllabus that I learn in my classrooms. Mm -hmm. So this decision has allowed me to be introduced to different topics, new topics, and it allow it also introduces me to new words and new phrases that this that my lex mates uses in lex discussions. Mm -hmm. So um it by by doing this, it allows me to add more vocab more vocabulary into my dictionary. Mm -hmm. And it allows me to fully understand how it is used and I can use these words in future conversations. Mm -hmm. Next would be refined active listening skills. Mm -hmm. So lax discussions and meetings are played an important role in improving my active listening skills. Conversations and interactions within the meetings demanded 
attentive comprehension and articulate responses. Mm -hmm. So by the constant meeting and discussions, it allowed me to practice my listening skills mm -hmm. to become more adept at understanding and appropriately engaging with spoken English among my lax mates. Mm -hmm. So throughout the whole three lax activities that I have done, it has sharpened my ability to contribute effectively to verbal exchanges during the meet and discussions. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would, I would, honestly, I would say that you are a very self-driven student. <laughs> um, you purposely <laughs> chose a lex where you can learn new words, new vocabularies and whatnot. Yeah, I think that is good because it is totally outside of your, um, your course. Yeah, uh, I like that. And also in terms of engagement, um, yes, I do believe that when you meet more people, you you learn to engage with various type of people, diverse from diverse background. And I think it also can contribute to your skills right now. Maybe now when you are in Budapest, I can see that, you know, maybe, maybe you have no problem in communicating with others. Yeah. Okay. So take note on that, everyone. Okay. So thank you, Anita. Okay. That marks the end of session two. Thank you for joining us, Murshid, Risk, and Anissa. Okay, so Anissa, you can go back <laughs> to sleep. It's 2.30 a.m. Okay, so it's time for another trivia segment. Over to you, Harith and Nafisa. Welcome back to the next trivia session. Did you get all the interesting information from the previous slide. I hope everyone learned a lot today. Wow, look at all the audience. They are very eager to answer the tricky questions. So please, there uh, are several reminders. Please type your answers in the comment section on our official Facebook page only. All right, now we will begin the second round of Lex Trivia. Prepare your brains, everyone. The question is, which Lex is my comic strip? I'll repeat the question. Which Lex is my comic strip? A, Lex 2007. B, Lex 2009. And C, Lex 2011. A, Lex 2007. B, Lex 2009. And Lex, and C, Lex 2011. Which do you think would be the correct answer? Hmm. Mapisa, I believe it will be A, maybe, Lex 2007. How about you, Nafisa? What do you think would be the best answer? Maybe B, maybe even C. Hmm. Also not quite sure would be the correct answer also. So let's hope that the audience can guess, guess the correct answer. Okay. Looks like there's no, still no one answered the questions. Uh, maybe, Nafisa, you can um, rewind it again. The questions. All right. For the first question, which lex is my comic strip? A, lex 2007. B, Lex 2009, and C, Lex 2011. All you have to do is type your answers in the comment section on our official Facebook page. Come on, guys, only on the Facebook page only. Just type your answer there. <laughs> Let's wait a few more minutes for everyone to type in their answers. 
Hmm, maybe everyone um doesn't be quite sure with their answers. Come on, don't be nervous, everyone. Hmm. We're still waiting for the answers. Thank you for your responses. Let's now move into the second questions. So listen carefully. So I will repeat twice only for these questions. And remember, please only reply on our Facebook page only. The question is, which of the following lax activity is 12 point lax? Is it A, lax 2045, states of motivation, B, lax 2026, that's so bizarre. C, Lex 2019 DIY. I repeat again, which of the Lex activities is 12 point Lex? Is it A, Lex 2045, seats of motivation? B, Lex 2026, that's so bizarre. Or C, Lex 2019 DIY. Give your answers, guys. All right, good luck everyone. We'll be here waiting for all your answers. So don't worry if your answer is incorrect, just be courage only. Just participate, feel free to engage with our questions. And don't be shy, we still have one more session after this for you to give it another shot and win the 40 ringgit prize. Oh my God, 40 ringgits, that's quite a lot. I can buy maybe 10 times of Starbucks coffee. <laughs> How about you, Nafisa? What do you will buy if you have that 40 ringgit in your hand? I'll probably buy food, yeah. So what kind of food make you? Um... I'll probably get ice cream and give it to all my friends. Wow, you share your <laughs> ice with your friends. That's quite generous. <laughs> so maybe our participant also can win this 40 ringgit and also share some of the prices with their friends. So remember, we're still, we're still waiting for your answers. And please answer it on our Facebook page. Give it a try. Maybe you'll win. You know, we're stuck for serve, so be fast, be quick. You have absolutely nothing to lose. That's correct, Nafisa. Nothing to lose. All right, time's up, everyone. So before that, so the all participants check your message box to see you are chosen as the winner. Thank you.
Now, let's roll out the red carpet for the lucky winner. So, congratulations to Mohammed Farid Rosali, who answered C, likes 2011. And for the second question, Idin Naim, who answered D, likes 2026. That's so bizarre. Wow, congratulations to both of these winners. Thank you for your participation. See you at the final round of the live Next trivia. I'll pass back the stage to the fellow MC. Thank you. See ya. Hello again, Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed the fun and candid conversation of Lex Talk and the trivia session. Did you also enjoy it, Harold? Of course, Yongju. How can I enjoy it? It literally made me want to join a Lex in the next se se I was at semester. Yeah, that's right. I have to agree with that. Oh, and I almost commented for trivia section to win some, you know, cash. That's a lot. You know, right? 40 ringgit. It can change my life. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so anyways... Before continuing with our program, let's talk about the Lex Day blog. Oh, yes. Uh, please log on to our Lex Day blog at lexday2023.blogspot.com. We have so many interesting things to see. Yes, and we also have event gallery. We have Lex competition where you can see the nominees for Lex, Get Groom, Language Art, Comic Street, DIY Project, and many more. Maybe your video is nominated too? Oh, I really wish it was. All right, so don't forget to visit our blog, okay? Okay, now moving on to our next agenda for today, which is hearing from Bintulu. So let's watch. Okay, now moving on to our next agenda for today. Good afternoon, so we are recording from Tanjo Batu Bintulu. So let's watch. I have this gentleman with me on a fine okay. Saturday so afternoon. Would you please Good introduce yourself so and tell us how long you have been supervising Lex? Good afternoon, uh, my name is uh, Mr. Peter. Saturday I'm an instructor with uh, UPM Bintulu Campus. Uh, I've been supervising Lex for about uh, two years. Thank you. Is, uh, Do you have any thoughts on how Lex activity UPM can UPM be fun campus. and effective? Learning English. Well, less activities Thank are you. quite different from what they call it in class activities. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas the students they, they do these activities outside of the classroom. Mm -hmm. And most of the activities, uh, like activities that they have created uh, in Kelp, uh, we find them uh, fun. Uh -huh. yeah, we, we think they are fun for students. Uh, but at the same time, we have to constantly, constantly keep up with it with current trends uh, because they are from a different generation. Mm -hmm. And in the future, we might have to come up with more, even more crazy or fun activity, fun less activities, uh, seeing that these are the Zoomer generations, as you would call it. We, want, we might want to integrate digital, uh, the digital based less activities or multimedia based activities. Uh, to make it more interesting and probably more effective. To make it more interesting and uh, to make it uh, uh, more relevant. Okay, so far, what is your most memorable experience supervising LEX? I would say the most memorable experience would be the first time, my first time supervising LEX. Uh -huh. Uh, because then I could see uh, what our students could really produce on their own. Because I'm a, mainly a diploma, uh, English language for diploma instructor. And uh, I started supervising Lex in 2031. So that was the first time that I really saw what our students could do on their own without right. being supervised directly by the lecturers. Um, I think my first Lex was my comic strip. Uh, my comic I did, strip. so it was a very good experience. Good experience because I saw, oh, they have such talent. I was never exposed to that type of uh, to, that, uh, to that type of experience before. Uh, when you were because, yeah, because, because no, because previously as a diploma instructor, I, see, yeah. I always thought that students would need a lot, of, a lot of super supervision. Mm -hmm. But when I started doing these next activities, I found out that they could do things on their own. Is there any particular aspect? Yeah, of uh, labs that you think can positively impact students' uh, English language skills? Well, so most of our LEX activities are conducted online using platforms such as Zoom. So in terms of uh, improving the language proficiency of our students, it encourages the more shy students, the, the 
more attrition with attrition ones to come out of the shell especially when they're discussing online with their friends mm -hmm. it's a different environment so let's say in class in a class setting they might be the quiet ones in class right. so they really speak but once they're online because they're behind the monitor screen mm -hmm. uh, they have more courage to speak out to express themselves and This, yeah, this basically encourages the, the students who rarely speak in class to express their thoughts, opinions, discuss with their friends mm -hmm. through a Zoom setting. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. think it has to do with the absence of the teacher figures so they don't feel being judged? That could be part of the reason, but at the same time, they, they still need uh, guidance for the instructors, but not of course, yeah. very specific guidance. Of it. All right, so they're more ah, free yes. to more express yes. themselves, so long as they meet the requirements yes. of activity completion and satisfaction, yeah. right? Yeah, because for relaxed like, activities, our role as the supervisor is to facilitate them in, uh, if they have a problem, uh, questions such as, uh, where do we, let's like, say, for example, they couldn't upload their videos mm -hmm. uh, into the to the Google Drive folders right. for the school, right? Mm -hmm. So they could ask technical questions like that. Or they ask me things like, "Sir, what do we need to discuss?" Mm -hmm. I will tell them to tell them to refer to the blog spot. So that's the extent of our supervision. So I guess yes. thank you so much, Mr. Peter, yes. for your uh, for sharing your experience as an instructor. And of course, there's so much more that we could talk about, but uh, it has been uh, I think it has been very helpful uh, from the perspective of, of the instructor. At least we get to hear how you feel about it, what your experience has been like. Thank you very much. All right. Hello, everyone. Hello, madam. I'm Madam Joyce, and thank you for joining me at the beautiful Tanjung Batu Beach in Bintulu. We're here to talk about LAX, uh, and uh, it's going to be a casual uh, conversation among friends. So before we start with uh, our conversation, uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. My name is Srinia Lichimena. I'm from semester three, Bachelor in Industrial Chemistry, and I'm from Johor. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Neo. I'm from Bachelor of Science Aquaculture with Honours, and currently I'm in semester three, and I originate from Penang. Hi, everyone. My name is Yenet Gan. I'm from Bintulu, Sarawak. Now I'm taking a Bachelor of Science Aquaculture with an honour, and currently in semester seven. How about you? Hello everyone, so my name is Nur Shahma Binti Matsa and I'm one of the alumni UPM KB 2023 and currently I'm working for the Office of Student Management in UPM KB. So we're going to talk about LEX now. How many LEX activities have you taken? Okay, so personally for me, I get, get, get Zoom, LSL and then Art Language, Poetic Society. So basically the total is four LEX activity and then uh, if you ask what is my favorite one, uh, I really love uh, the art language next activity because it is an escape place for me because I took it when I'm doing my final year project. So when I was busy or I'm being stressed, uh, it is a time where I can unleash all my artistic all sides, the yeah, all the stress <laughs> through the next activity. So maybe J uh, Janet, uh, I believe you also in the final year. So how next activity become your stress uh, stress relief activity? In my opinion, um. During my Lex video activities, I also have four activities, but I have only one that the most favorite. It's good, love to eat, but also love to be slim and beautiful, <laughs> but I cannot forget about food. The most, my favorite video will have food will travel, which is uh, conducted by Madam Ramoni. During the Lex activities, we have a lot of food and storming place, as we can find the hidden place that we can find in Bitulu. During weekend, as a short, short escape, we go to visit the restaurant that are uh, being suggested by our friends so we eat happily and enjoy as we during the weekday we struggle with our study that's from my point of view how about you Nia? okay uh, currently i'm only in semester three that means i only took lex one time <laughs> during that one time the lex i took was music video oh. and my experience was that because most of the time we did it online but i found out it was quite enjoyable because when i did it with my friends well they weren't friends back then uh, because they were 
uh, it was basically me, one classmate, and then the rest were all seniors. And then, but then the seniors, some of them were from my course. So uh, through that lex, I got to know them. And then there was also other people who are not from my course, but they're also seniors. So they would be there. And then I got to know people who are not from my course and seniors who are from my course. And then from that, I got to build bonds with them. So I personally enjoyed lex. And I hope that for my future lex, I get to have more fun with friends. And then, and also take very interesting titles as well. Music video was really fun. We got to create our own music video and then we sang them out. <laughs> yeah, so that was my experience. How about you, Sri? Also in my semester one, so I only took Lex one time, which was Seeds of Motivation. As a new student at university, we need a lot of motivation and Seeds of Motivation really helped me a lot from in terms of that term. And also I met, like Neo said, I met a lot of new people. Most of my Lex member team was from final year, so I get to converse with a lot of final year students. Through them, I met a lot of new people. So it was networking, sort of building network for me. And also I enjoyed my legs because it, every week we will review one of our motivation videos. So from that we will new, uh, learn new things and the, all the seniors will provide us with uh, a lot of advice. So how to do this assignment, how to handle these lecturers and so on. For me, it was very beneficial. Like new also, I'm looking forward to better legs in future. Hopefully the one I want. I'm looking for movie review and also like food and travel maybe. So I, I'm hoping to get that one in, in the future. Okay, that sounds awesome so interesting huh? all your experiences and I think it's especially uh, really fun huh? that you get to meet new people and uh, bond over something that you enjoy doing and develop friendship okay I think that's very interesting now, have you noticed any differences or improvements in your English language proficiency since you have taken Lex so for me uh, I've noticed a lot of uh, increased proficiency in my Lex but I'm also since like I said it's only my first Lex so I'm hoping to build um, a more proficiency in my English uh, for the upcoming lex by taking like food of travels or even language art or something. So I'm looking forward to more lex in the future so I can be a, a better confidence in my English proficiency. How about you? Okay, as of now, I've only had one lex. So for me personally, I have not felt any improvements yet in my vocabulary. But hopefully in, fu in the future, lex will provide me a way to open up or expand my horizons on English. Hopefully I get to build up more on my vocabulary. Like maybe in my essays or whatever, I'll write with more sophisticated language rather than the simple, the simplified form that I've been using. How about you, Jeanette? Yes, I'm in a final year student. What I can see, uh, the improvement in myself can build the confidence, which, which is much better from the previous semester, which is I can talk with other people using English language is much better and more fluent. And I learn also many vocabulary. Okay, so back in the days, I really afraid I can talk or I can speak in English. But when someone asks me to speak, uh, in English, I will push other person like, how about you? Better for you, yeah, let other people. But then when I took the Lex activities, it built my confidence because like we just talk like among our friends and we share our thoughts for the specific topics. So it made me feel like comfortable. So because like, I took like four Lex activities, so it made me like, okay, I'm comfortable now. So if one, if people want to talk English with me, I have I have the confidence. Yes. Yes, that, that's, that's the important, uh, the important uh, part where how Lex actually not only help on the proficiency, but also help on the building on the confidence. And then during my internship, so I I received a call from like ministry from Kuching and that person like speak in English. So if back in the days, I believe that I'm afraid to speak. But uh, during that time, I was like so confident and I know like what kind of info information that I need to get. So that so basically, Lex activities are really uh, help me a lot, uh, especially on building my confidence and also my proficiency. Yeah. What advice would you give to current Lex students? Mm. Okay, so for me, I really found that uh, Lex activities are the one that make me uh, comfortable, and that is uh, just like I said before, it was like an escape place for me like we are stressed with it all uh, with like various academic courses but legs is the place where we just it's, it's just like a place there where we and a friend and we talk about something uh, although it, in, it's in english but it's in a comfortable place where we can talk everything any of our thoughts without any restriction so for me not afraid of taking legs uh just take it as a as a way for you to release your stress 
So that's from me, maybe Janet. I would like to add something. Uh, as as we know, a uh, bachelor, aquaculture bachelor in Bitulu is a small group. Why not you take this chance to mix around with other people from different backgrounds, different semesters, so we can get a lot of friends and maybe uh, we can find hidden talent that we uh, had been discussing in our next activities, right? Yeah. Maybe you can be a singer one day instead of <laughs> being a student. You're like you know, music yeah. art. Okay. What's your advice now? Okay, so personally, I don't think uh, mine is an advice. I do agree with Jeanette that it allows you to expand your horizon to meet with new people. And for me, uh, I would personally like to say that for Lex, just take it easy. It's basically just you finding a topic uh, in the topic that you're interested in. So it's basically going to be like chatting with your friends. But because you don't know them, they are strangers. Except they do have their common interests with you. That means you're allowed to talk to them and it will allow, it will allow you to start building friendship with other people. Although you don't know them at first but then after you started talking to them you will start to get to know them better yes yeah. you build bonds from that shared interest so it allows you to expand more on your networking as well uh, i definitely agree with you and everyone for me lex like i said lex was a way to build my network but also my confidence and uh, the advice i'll give to people uh, for the upcoming juniors will be enjoy lex it's english after all we all know english is fun so lex is just a way of emphasis that to learn not to stress about it just take it as an easy subject to do there are more there are even more harder subjects okay yeah, thank you so much everyone your input has been uh, very positive and very be- i think it benefits all the listeners uh, and all the viewers to on this uh, lax day huh? okay thank you so much okay let's say bye bye to all of them bye, bye. Wow, what an insightful video. What do you think about it, Yongju? It was truly insightful and also very interesting. Oh, and Harold, did you notice the background? Oh, yes, the background. It's so beautiful. And they were sharing by the ocean, and the ocean is so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and if I were to get that 40 ringgit cash just now, <laughs> I would fly there right now. Oh, wait, but isn't the flight ticket cost much more than that? Huh, then maybe you can sponsor for me. Oh, That's oh. what friends are for, right? Right. Yeah, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we have another Lex Talk segment, but this time it's from our teachers who will be telling all. Wait, Helen, you mean all? Yes, Yongju, you heard it right, all. Oh, I can't wait to hear that. Let's press the event to the Lex Talk moderator. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Lex Talk. So this is session three. So previously in our session one, we had a discussion with our student panelists, okay? And then in session two, we had some discussion with our former students. And now in session three, we are going to discuss with our teachers, okay? So who have uh, facilitated less activities before. So basically, Mm -hmm. now let's have a round of applause for Ms. Rane. Mr. Azwan and Ms. Madiana. <laughs> okay, teachers, we can relax today. Okay, now my first question is for Miss Ranmit, who is also the head of English Language Activity Unit in Kelp. Okay, for your information, everyone, um, our Lex activities are frequently updated, and we do sometimes offer new Lex activities um, as well. We can have like one new activity per year, maybe. Okay, so Miss Ranmit, <laughs> when implementing a new Lex activity. What specific criteria do you consider for it to be included in the program? Right, okay. Thank you, Farhana, for the question. That's mm-hmm. an interesting question, I would say. So there are two main criteria that we take into consideration mm-hmm. in developing a new LAX activity. Mm-hmm. The first thing, uh, our primary concern is to make sure that students are able to communicate. So we want them to communicate in a very fun environment mm-hmm. And to create that fun environment when we are developing new LAX activities, Mm -hmm. we take students' interest into consideration. Mm -hmm. So we have a variety of LAX activities that we offer and students' interest is always a primary concern. Mm -hmm. So we have um, um, 
uh, likes activities like uh, likes karaoke in English, mm -hmm. where those who enjoy singing can partake in it. We have uh, seats of motivation mm -hmm. to ensure that our mental health is in check. We have our Have Food Will Travel for those who are foodies. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, Tech Talk, which is um, for those who like to look into technological devices, they're able to review them mm -hmm. in their LEX activities. So we try to cover as much as possible all areas that are of interest to students. Mm -hmm. So in line with this, annually during our LEX Day competition, mm -hmm. we also uh, give and provide a platform for students to partake in uh, developing a LEX activity, that, which is why we have create a LEX competition. Sure. So students can actually tell us what is it they would like to see in the coming semesters mm -hmm. uh, um, of something that will be offered in the coming semesters for a LEX activity that they can take. Mm -hmm. So this is what we do. The first thing is student interest. Um, the second thing would be the university goals. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Lex actually came about with the main concern and the major concern of uh, producing outstanding graduates mm -hmm. that are able to communicate well and are also marketable in uh, yes. the working world. Sure. Okay, And they also have to be uh, graduates that are outstanding as well as patriotic uh, in, in alignment with the university goals. Mm -hmm. So taking these two into consideration, what we have done is, we, that is why we came up with LEX activities to ensure that we have a fun environment so they can communicate in it in line with the university goal. And in addition to that, we also have a LEX activity called Malaysian Heroes, which is where they can instill and look into um, our Malaysian heroes. So this is also an opportunity for our foreign students to get to know uh, Malaysia better mm -hmm. by looking at our history and all the heroes that we have out here. So these are the two main criteria, which is student interest and also the university goals that are very much kept in mind when developing new LEX activities. Mm, yeah. Interesting. Yes, I would say that we always think about the student's interest first because I think the main objective is to make you students, okay, engage, okay, in, in fun learning environment with your friends and use English. So basically, we try to give you whatever that you like. For example, like your hobbies, like like uh, Miss Ramit was saying, if you like singing, so we have karaoke in English, for example, okay? So if you have any suggestion um, of any hobby of yours where you could use English language in it, okay, when discussing with your friends, yeah, do suggest it to us in our competition, okay, create a new lex competition. And if I'm not mistaken, just now our student panelist, um, she was suggesting, uh, for us to to have a debate as a lax activity. Yeah. Yes, I he I heard that. I yeah. I'll take that into consideration <laughs> as well. Yeah, I think yes. Yeah. She talked about how it'll promote their critical thinking skills, yeah, which is a very true. fair point. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Okay. Yeah. I think students who would love to join, yeah, they would they can join it in the future. Okay. It yeah, will be sure. take taken into consideration. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And patriotism, yeah, I think it's a good thing too because not many of youngsters nowadays know our um, the important people in Malaysia nowadays. Okay, all right. So the next question for Mr. Azwan. Okay, Mr. Azwan, just join us. For how many years already, Mr. Azwan? Um, just shy a year plus. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay. He has he is an experienced lax facilitator. Okay, don't worry. Okay, so I think all students would like to know the answer to Mr. Azwan's question. So pay attention, everyone. Okay. So, Mr. Aswan, um, are there any specific elements or criteria that teachers evaluate in grading any lab activity? Okay, all right. Uh, thank you so much, Farhana. Okay, so basically asking us teachers to spill the tea, hmm. right? So, um, going back to the nature of LEX itself, it's part of the Alex package. So, we have your LPEs, we have our cells, and we have LEX. So, these are courses where you can pass as well as fail. Mm -hmm. So uh, ba back to your question, talking about the elements or criteria that we teachers mm -hmm. look at during grading. Okay, so there are a few things, okay? But first things first, number one is going back to the nature of your lags. Mm -hmm. Each lags is unique, okay? Just from Farhana, our moderator just now, she mentioned about karaoke, a possible debate lags, a Malaysian heroes, we have a lot of lists for lags. Mm -hmm. But 
each lax has their own specific activities or ac- objectives, basically. Mm-hmm. So you need to actually read up about this. Make sure that everyone in the group is clear what they need to do, what they need to accomplish. That's the first thing, some mm-hmm. of the things that we consider when grading. Number two, how you actually conduct your discussion. Okay, Because we don't understand that lax is virtual. So sure. we're having all our meetings online. Google Meet, Zoom, Skype, or or whatever means online, you need to make sure you have the right formatting. Again, going back to you need to read up about your lags. We also have those what we call the small, small elements in terms of your format. Mm -hmm. How you actually do the, uh, how you actually conduct your group discussion. Mm -hmm. First things first, your name itself how you portray or how you put your name in the Google Meet. Let's say you're using Google Meet or Zoom. Okay, making sure that your name is in full. Okay, not just your nicknames, not your, let's say, um, not just your my iPhone, uh, your iPhone. I don't know. We don't know who that person is. But make sure that you use the full names that your mother and father has given you. Okay, <laughs> that's important there. Okay, and then, yes, not just your names. You also need to have your faces there mm. because... We have a lot of students. We have hundreds of students. So making sure that your face is visible, clear throughout the video. It's really you, right? Yes, it's you, <laughs> not a picture of you, not your cousin, not your auntie or whatever. Okay? Making sure that it is actually you throughout the discussion. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because sometimes there are certain issues in terms of connectivity and whatnot. But make sure that you have the best view or angle possible for yourself to present throughout the video Mm -hmm. making sure that you are present throughout the video and then speaking of your faces okay let's say we are using zoom okay because the platform that we are using currently it's zoom okay we have we do not want to see those solo face cams Ah. okay not the speaker view Mm -hmm. okay it's better or it's um advice to you actually to put it in gallery view so that us teachers can actually evaluate the whole group at the same time. We can mm-hmm. see everyone's responses. We can see how they smile. Okay, not just your pretty face there, but mm-hmm. we can actually see everyone's pretty faces. Yeah? So be fair to everyone in terms of that. Mm-hmm. And then another thing, or I would say another important thing that we actually think about in terms of the aspects when we want to grade your likes is that your participation. Yeah. Okay, Making sure that you're not just there, all smiles, no input. That's not what we're looking for. Okay, you are entering a lax. You are choosing the lax that you are interested in. Okay, no one's forcing you to choose different laxes. So you should have some sort of input based on the discussion. Um, so yeah, making sure that you participate. And in terms of uh, how long you should participate, some might think, oh, how, sh- how long should I speak? Should I just give the introduction? Should I just give my point and keep quiet? You need to actually think about the entirety of the video. Typical Lex video would be about like 14, 18 minutes. Yeah. So um, considering five to six teammates, group members, make sure that you have at least about two minutes. Okay, You have some sort of input apart from your introduction, apart from whatever task your, your Lex requires you. So yeah, basically these three things, making sure that number one, you are clear what you have to do for your lags. Number two, making sure that all these former things are good when you want to submit. And last but not least, making sure that you participate in the discussion. So yeah, that's from me. Mm, Thank you so much, Mr. Azwan. Okay, if I'm allowed to, to add to that, okay, I would also say that in order for you to have more participation, maybe, um, okay, number one, of course, I think I would suggest that you be in a place where it is quiet okay and number two so that you can switch on your mic at all time okay i would say that um, whatever response that come up from you any any interruption it will be natural sounding okay it will not be just like one person saying something and then muted and okay, okay, and then everyone laugh in, in a muted manner so i don't think it's it's very natural so if you want to have more participation i suggest that you all switch on your microphone okay and make sure everyone is participating enjoying it okay because even though it's supposed to help you to use the language in a relaxed setting okay but we still have to evaluate you am i right okay so please adhere to these uh conditions i would say okay all right thank you so much okay so please take note everyone if you want to pass your legs okay okay so moving on to miss masliana okay considering the diversity of students that we have in upm in terms of language proficiency what strategies do you recommend for creating an inclusive and supportive 
discussion environment? All right. Thank you for the question. Mm -hmm. So it's true that it is very important for the students to create an inclusive and supportive environment during the group discussion. Mm -hmm. But you might be wondering what is inclusive environment? It simply means that everyone in the group should be given an equal chance to participate and as well as to contribute their opinions during the group discussion. As for our LEX activity, we know that most of the time the students are grouped at random. Mm -hmm. So in a group, in one LEX group, it consists of six to 10, 12 students, and it comes from different language proficiency levels. And because of that, it can become a challenge to some students to participate actively in the group discussion. So today, I would like to share three simple strategies mm -hmm. in order for you to create an inclusive and also supportive environment during when you conduct LEX group discussion. All right, number one, mm -hmm. the first thing that you need to do is to get to know your team members. I think by the first group discussion, you should be able to gauge the language proficiency levels among your team members. So there will be some students in higher proficiency level, and mm -hmm. there will be also students in lower proficiency levels. Get to know your friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two, the next thing that you need to do is to promote or to provide uh, support. So those in higher proficiency level, you need to provide support to those in lower proficiency level. You might be thinking, what kind of support can I give? Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things that you can do actually. All right. You can actually ask them from them mm -hmm. because you need to understand those in lower proficiency level most of the time they will feel intimidated sure. to participate in the group discussion because mm -hmm. if, you know if it's very intense everybody is talking sometimes those in lower proficiency level might feel scared to mm -hmm. interject in the group discussion so you can just simply say is there anything that you would like to add on mm -hmm. is there what is Call your opinion their about this yeah. yes this will give the room for them to join True. and also to contribute ideas during the group discussion and number three in fact this is actually the most important one you need to be respectful mm -hmm. all right do not discriminate ideas from those from low or lower proficiency language level. You need to understand in a group discussion, every opinion and also every idea is equally important. Sure. So accept everyone's opinion and be respectful. I think with these three strategies, it will help you to create an inclusive as well as supportive environment when conducting lax group discussion. Mm. Thank you, Ms. Madlena. Yes, I think those three strategies are very important. And of course, you will also have to think about this is your legs together with your friends and everyone would want to enjoy and have some fun there uh, communicating with each other. So try to help each other. Yeah, because it doesn't mean that your friends who have lower language proficiency level, they don't have any ideas. It's just that maybe they are struggling with um, how to express themselves. Yeah. So you may want to help each other so that, you know, you can create those bonds and be comfortable with your group members and have a more natural setting in your um, LEX discussion, okay? All right, so our next question is for the most experienced teacher here, okay, Ms. Ramit. Okay, you have been a teacher here in Kelp for more than 10 years. So as a LEX facilitator, have you observed any noticeable changes in students' progress during the six week or 12 week uh, period? Um, if so, what specific transformation or development have you seen uh, in their behavior and attitudes towards lax activities? Right. Okay. Thank you, Farhana, for the mm -hmm. question. So um, in regards to your question, I would say there are many uh, transformations that you can see mm -hmm. in monitoring the students during the lax activities. So I'm going to uh, highlight a few that stand out to mm -hmm. me. Um based on all the LEX videos that I have monitored over the past years, okay? <laughs> so the first being is, um, you would notice when the students first come in for their discussion, mm -hmm. in the first session, in the first group discussion video, um, some of them, or I would say many of them, are timid. Mm -hmm. You know, they are not very vocal. They are not very confident sure. in sharing their thoughts and ideas. But over a period of time, you will see that that, person the same person has built their confidence mm -hmm. and there's a transformation in the way they communicate and they share their ideas sure. and that is very very vital especially 
um, for them to be employable graduates in the future. Yes, I agree. Okay, with you. so that is the first thing I I noticed their level of confidence. You can see a a, a pretty drastic transformation mm -hmm. because the environment is such where they are with their peers. Sure, and the topic that they're discussing is something of their interest. Mm -hmm. So you can see that they have grown and we have basically provided them a platform in which they can use the language. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is their level of confidence. Next, I would say that um, um, the what I noticed is students have, because they come from different faculties mm -hmm. and they are all placed maybe they are not necessarily from the same course or programs. So they have built a network while being in UPM, they have built a network and these LEX activities also provided a networking platform for them. So they have built, um, you know, friendships, lifelong friendships. Sure. As we know, the friends that we make in university are lifelong. So this is actually providing them a, a, an opportunity to use their soft skills where communication comes into play and not just uh, verbally mm -hmm. in using the language, mm -hmm. in using the target language, but other things, you know, in sharing their thoughts, their ideas, and, you know, planning the time, what time we should meet, what all, all those, you know, mm -hmm. taking charge of what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. And um, the third point that I would like to highlight is, I notice mm -hmm. that you will see even students that are timid in their discussion in the beginning, or even somewhere in the middle where they are still, you know, building your confidence, mm -hmm. they have learned how to take charge of their uh, learning during the group discussion. They are able to carry the discussion. They can lead the discussion. So it's not the same person leading the discussion every week. Yeah, you know, they're yeah. taking turns to lead the discussion. Mm -hmm. So they're able to ask for opinion, you know, add on to the opinion that was shared on. So that is taking charge of the education, mm -hmm. which is which is amazing. It's great. Mm -hmm. That is what we want to see. Mm -hmm. So I think that these are the three things that mm -hmm. I would say that really stood out to me when it comes to the development of students taking lax activities over the period of six to 12 weeks. Oh, and another thing is mm -hmm. because there is a variety of activities that students take mm -hmm. and it involves a lot of creativity, uh, which happens outside of the classroom, right? Yes. So this is not the standard uh, learning protocols that we are following. It takes place outside of the classroom. Then they have like many tools they will need to have to learn how to use technological tools. Definitely. Uh, and in the best way possible. So mm -hmm. sometimes you may not learn something, you may not know something and you get to learn it from your peers. So it's a great platform, even editing videos, depending <laughs> on the products that they are coming out with. Okay, so the final product of how it should look, it all requires a skill. Mm -hmm. So they actually enhance their skills mm -hmm. while taking the lax activity. Sure. And the outcome is amazing. It's really good to see that there's an opportunity for them to develop their skills, not just in the target language, but also in other elements based on whatever the activity they're taking. They're either producing videos, they're coming up with products. So this is a, a platform, a very good platform for them to um, shine and develop and enhance their knowledge. So this is what I have observed in the past uh, lax activities that I have monitored mm -hmm. among the many other that are there as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I do agree with you, Ms. Ranmit, because um, I don't, in my opinion, okay, maybe students think that uh, lax is just something that you have to pass. But like I said in the second section just now, when we were talking about how lax could benefit you when you're working later, Yes, like Ms. Ramit was saying this now, I feel, uh, I would say that it will definitely help you later on. So treat lax as something that you are doing for the sake of, you know, um, gaining a skill, okay? not just, you know, for the sake of passing. So at least you can gain something. It's a life skill. You will definitely use it later when you're working. Like Ms. Ramit said just now, you will meet different type of people definitely in working life and who are totally different from you. But, you know, you are able, you will be able to adapt um, to, to anyone that you meet and speak well as well. So I would say that rather than just, you know, taking lags just for the sake of passing it, yeah, I think you should enjoy it and, and really do it, you know, well and for real, you know, just enjoy and do it really good in a really good manner. <laughs> okay, so now, question for Mr. Azwan. Okay, in your opinion, what qualities or skills contribute most to a successful lags discussion? 
Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Farna. Mm-hmm. So now we are talking about skills mm-hmm. or things that contribute the most to a successful lax discussion. Okay. The key words there. It's a discussion. Mm. It's not just a solo person talking. Okay, not just one person sharing, not just two person sharing, but the whole group. It's the entire group discussing together. I think some of the things that we you need to consider or everyone needs to consider is that we are, yes, it is at the end of the day, it is going to be something that you can pass or fail. Okay, we are looking at your content. Hmm. We are looking at your language. But what's important here is your interaction. Mm-hmm. Okay, making sure that your skill, especially in terms of when you are speaking with someone, okay, and you're discussing with someone, how you start off your discussion how do you maintain your discussion okay or even how you try to actually because it's a discussion everyone has their opinion and this discussion especially for lax we are celebrating everyone's opinion mm-hmm. okay no one's right no one's wrong oh, yeah. okay you can either agree you can disagree okay this is a platform Going back to what I've said, these lags are not forced on you in which you chose your laxes. Mm-hmm. So you should have somewhat an interest towards those lags. So you should have your background knowledge, your interest, you know what you're speaking about. Okay, So in terms of that, you might want to persuade people into some things that you like. Okay, You want to justify to people or be, uh, in regards to your opinion about something. Okay, Again, also going back to your lags itself, mm-hmm. okay, different lags different activities okay making sure that you have the right and appropriate skill to actually not master but make sure that it's a successful discussion Mm -hmm. for instance let me give an example in this semester i'm overseeing lags 2047 Mm -hmm. poetic society shout out to my groups (laughs) you know who you are okay right so yeah basically in that lags itself they have to recite their poems Mm -hmm. okay that's the first part and the second part is them talking about um the Issues, uh, speaking about that poem, reading between the lines, mm-hmm. implicit, explicit messages and whatnot. If you don't um, particularly have the skill to actually recite the poem, okay, because everyone starts from somewhere. In the beginning, you might not be that good. But as you progress, you might want to learn more, mm-hmm. read up about more. How do you properly recite? How do you properly dissect the poem, let's say? So it's these skills are very dependent. Different acts, different skills. Mm-hmm. Again, different interests, different peoples. So it's up to you in terms of understanding how do you want to tackle a particular lax. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, yes, what we consider a successful lax discussion is making sure that you are talking about the right topic, right topic, okay, staying on okay. the right tag. Yes, the content. <laughs> okay, making sure not just the task fulfillment is there, the content is there, language, everything is there. But don't be too afraid, okay? It's lax. So relax and just talk, okay? Talk with your friends, give your opinions, discuss, okay, share. Nothing's wrong. You can just say anything, but make sure it's about your topic, about your likes. So yeah, basically that, making sure that you have somewhat of the skills in terms of the language, yes, content, yes, but making sure you know what you are doing in regards to your likes itself. Okay, mm-hmm. so yeah, that's some input for me. Mm-hmm. The key word here is discussion (laughs) okay so um like i was mentioning just now um you know in order for you to make everyone participate i would suggest that you switch on your microphone everyone so that everyone can just you know interject or say something uh, um in between you know and um i would also like to point out that like mr azwan said just now it's a discussion it's not an individual presentation in a group yeah so i do notice that some students would just you know um okay for example miss marzana presents present like like individual presentation and then mr Aswan, and then you know uh, miss runmate okay so there's no interaction there so we 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 prefer you to interact with one another uh you have a proper discussion where there are two way uh two way communication it's not just one person presenting and the uh, the rest will be uh-huh uh-huh switching switching on switching off their microphone so yeah the keyword would be um discussion not just one presentation in a group. Okay, so last but not least, um, the last question goes to our lovely Miss Madlena. Okay, to what extent does the incorporation of LAX enhance students' English language learning experience? And what specific benefits or impacts have you observed as an educator? All right, thank you for the question. Mm-hmm. So basically, the implementation of LAX has taken place for 10 years now. So personally, as a teacher, I 
have seen an improvement among my students. Mm -hmm. So as you know, in order for a student to pick up a language, they need to use the language consistently. Mm -hmm. And we teachers here, we know that the students are not going to speak English without teacher's presence Never. or when they step <laughs> out from the classroom. Mm -hmm. All right. So the Lex activity is like the push they need mm -hmm. where they will need to whether they like it or not, they have to conduct, they have to use the language at least once a week in a proper setting. Mm -hmm. But as you know, it's enjoyable. I would say it's an enjoy enjoyable environment. Mm -hmm. So whether they like it or not, they have to use the language at least once a week. And once, over time, uh, after discussion, after discussion, semester after semesters, we could see actually the students are getting more comfortable with the language and over time they slowly develop their confidence level and i think this is the most important thing that the student need to have when they learn a new language or they learn a foreign language basically if you are not comfortable with the language when you are not confident to use the language it's hard for you to conquer the language to master yeah. the language mm -hmm. so this is actually a success to me from my viewpoint i will say this is actually a success mm -hmm. that we are able to pro, uh, to produce students who are comfortable and confident in using English language. Just look at the previous segment just now. Uh -huh. We had the students here, right? The three of them, mm -hmm. they were very comfortable. They were enjoying the session mm -hmm. and they were very confident using the language. Mm -hmm. I think this is actually the products of LEDs mm -hmm. and this is actually a big success for all of us. And for me, this is what I want to see, that the sure. students are not afraid to use the language. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we want, the, uh, they, we want them to be able to use the language when they work later, right? Yes. Yeah. I don't want them to have the, the mindset that I'm going to make so many mistakes. I mean, yeah. like, just have the fluency yeah, first. I mean, you it. just use mm -hmm. it. Later on, they will develop the accuracy. But mm -hmm. I think this is what we want to see among our students. True. At least the confidence first. You know, it will make them very, very employable in the future. Yes, it's when true. When they have the confidence. Yep. Okay. Yes. Okay. So basically, those are great answers and tips from our panelists today. A round of applause for Miss Ramit, Miss Madlen, and Mr. Ajwan. Okay. Thank you so much for your valuable insights. Okay. So, all right. This is the end of our Lex Talk segment. Thank you so much for watching. Remember this famous Lex saying, have fun with... Yes. Last. Okay. All right, everyone. It's time for the last trivia segment. Over to you, Harith and Nafisa. Thank you, moderator. Hello, everyone. Wow, I'm so impressed seeing your enthusiasm. This is our final round for the last trivia. Hi, everyone. We are back. We hope that you're ready for the last set of questions of the Lex Trivia Session. Here's how it works. I'll ask a series of questions about various Lex activities. All you have to do is type your answers in the comments section on our official Facebook page. I repeat, official Facebook page only. Well, that's enough of the instructions. Let's get right into it. I'm sure everyone can wait to answer the questions. So the first question for the final round is, what is the Lex code for Eureka? Is it A, Lex 2034, or B, Lex 2023, or C, Lex 2030? I repeat again, what is the Lex code for Eureka? Is it A, Lex 2034, or B, Lex 2023, or C, Lex 2030? So type your answer on the comment box on our official Facebook. Harris, I thought about your question in the previous session. You asked me what I would do with 40 ringgit. I think I'd buy a house. Do you think there's a house for 40 ringgit in KL? Oh my God, 40 ringgit for a house? It just, you know, in your imagine. But if you can afford it, maybe, you know, it's quite a good thing, affordable thing. 40 ringgit for a living? Wow. Actually, for this question, do you know what does it mean by Eureka, Nafisa? 
I don't know. Oh, you don't know? So Eureka actually came from the Archimedes cell. He said that Eureka, when he found some mathematic principle, and then he shouted, Eureka! And this Lex code was named after that principle of the Archimedes found during his bath time. That's quite funny. So supposedly, I believe, maybe the answer would be B. How about you, Nafisa? Um, maybe B, maybe A, maybe even C. If I were you, I'd type in all the answers. <laughs> so if you... Okay, time's up. So now, let's move on to our final questions for our final round. Nafisa, please tell yes. them. Final question for today's Lex trivia session is which Lex activity requires students to produce creative items? A. Lex 2009 Language Art. B. Lex 2013 After 5. And C. Lex 2049 I've got news for you. Let me repeat the question once again. Which Lex activity requires students to produce creative items? A. Lex 2009, Language Art. B. Lex 2013, After 5. five. And C. Lex 2049, I've got news for you. Go, 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 type your answers in the comment box of our official Facebook page. Wow, all the names of all the Lex code. It's quite intriguing. We have After Five, got, I've got news for you, and also language art. Are you all ready with your answers? We're really excited to see who's the winner because this is our final session for today. And this is your final opportunity to earn 40 ringgit. <laughs> To buy a house. <laughs> All right, time's up, everyone. So, if you are participant, please check your message box to see if you are chosen as the winner. Now, are you ready to find out who the final winner is? For the final round, the winner is, drum roll please. Congratulations to Mel Nell, who answered the first question, which is the answer is C, Lex 2030. And congratulations also to the winner, Adrina Afika for answering the second question, which is A, Lex 2009 Language Art. A big congratulations to all the winners and even all the participants of today's Lex Trivia. The organizing committee will contact the winners via Facebook. Please, please, please be alert and check your notifications so that you can win your 40 ringgit. It has been such a blast to witness all of you answering the questions. Now, I'll pass back the stage to the MCs, Yungju and Harilyn. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you so much for the questions, Safisa and Harit. Ladies and gentlemen, now we're almost reaching at the end of our event today. We'll have our most awaited session, which is the prize giving ceremony. So the first competition is Lex 2007, get groomed, and we have three winners. Without any delay, let's announce their names. You want to guess who the winner is? Let's play a number. Let's play your number. I think group one, maybe? Okay, let me take my lucky number, group uh -huh. 17. Group 17. <laughs> oh, yeah. 17? Why is it? Because I love one K-pop group. Okay, I think we have to get back to this. All right. Let's proceed. So, for the competition Lex 2007 Get Groomed, we have three winners. The second runner-up 
is group four. Congratulations. Now, the first runner up is who do you think it's going to be? Group three. Congratulations, group three. Well done. Now, lastly, but obviously not least, the first place, the first place goes to Group 49. Congratulations, Group 49. Very good job. All right, guys. Now, now let's move on to the next competition, which is LEX 2009, Language Art. So let's move on to the second runner-up. And the second runner up goes to group 12. Congratulations. Okay, so let's move on to the second place, which is group number 202. Wow, congratulations. Good job. Okay, let's go to the champion for Lex 2009 Language Art. Champion goes to Group nine, well done, group nine. Thank you so much, Harlan. And let's proceed to the announcing the names for Lex 2011 comic strip. The second, the second place. Second round. Second round goes to group seven. Congratulations, group seven. And the first runner. Run Rob, this goes to Group 24. Congratulations, Group 24. Lastly, but obviously not least, the first place, the champion, is going to Group 50. Congratulations, Group 50. Really well done. All right. Youngju, let's move on with the next competition which is LEX 2019 DIY project. Okay, so let's move on with the third place. Who do you think it will be? Group, no. Group 71. Congratulations. Just now I was talking about 17, right? Yeah. Upside down. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, we'll go to the second place. Second place goes to... Group 24, congratulations, Group 24. And last but not least, we have our first place and champion goes to Group 25. Congratulations, Group 25, for being the champion for LEX 2019 DIY project. Congratulations, three winners of LEX 2019. So next competition is going to be LEX 2047 Poetic Society. We also have three winners, so we're going to announce from third place. Who do you think the third place is going to be? I think it might be group 17 again. Group 17 again. <laughs> All right, let's I'm check. I'm not giving up on that number. Okay. Third place goes to group two. Congratulations. Next, the second place goes to group 202. Congratulations, 202. Now, the first place, the first place is going to be the group six. Congratulations, yeah. group six. Really well done. Poetic Society, do you like poems? Yes, I do like poems. I read it sometimes. Okay, so I can't friend zone you because I don't like poems. <laughs> but anyways, I love to learn new things, you know. Okay. okay. But anyways, let's move on with the next competition, which is Lex 2049. I've got news for you. Okay, so the third place goes to Group 48. Congratulations, Group 48, for getting the third place. Okay, so let's move on with the second place. Who do you think the second place will be, Youngju? Oh, uh, maybe. Let's get 17. 17, mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, the second place goes to Group 15, minus two. Yeah, it was close. <laughs> okay, congratulations, Group 15. Now the champion for Lex 2049. I've got news for you. The first place falls. 
Group 41. Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. Okay, congratulations to all the winners. And we have the last competition, which is Create New Legs competition. Wow, I bet these kind of people are so innovative and very creative, you know? They must be. Yeah, so we'll just proceed with the second place. So the second place goes to... Chen Kersi. She is from the Faculty of Computer Science and Information Technology. See, I told you, right? She's very innovative and creative. Yeah, yeah, She's that's right. Yeah, we can obviously see that. Yes. And Lex's name is Inspirational People. It's Inspirational People 6 Lex Point. Congratulations to Chen Kersi. All right, now we'll move on to the champion. How much creative this person will be? I want to see what's her, um, what they call it, competition, the mm -hmm. new legs competition name. Right, the first place goes to, drum roll please, <laughs> Nuru Fatimi Binti Kamarudin, School of Business and Economy. And the last name is, I wonder slash about life slash rediscover six legs point. Wow. Congratulations to you, Nuru Fatimi, and all the other winners of the Lex. Congratulations, everyone. A job well done to those who have participated for the efforts that you have put in while participating in these competitions. Distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, as the saying goes, to every beginning, there's an ending. And now the ceremony has come to present. But before we bid goodbye, we would like to ask everyone in our session today to switch on your cameras for a short photography session. Yongju, I really want to see those beautiful and handsome faces behind this camera. Don't you think so? Yeah, that's right. I really want to see them too. I know, right? So everyone ready? <laughs> Okay, everyone, you may switch on your cameras right now. All right, so our technical team is preparing for taking a picture right now, so you may switch on your camera. Please show us your beautiful faces. Okay, so there are total, there are three pages, so we'll go with the first page first, okay? All right. All right, in first page, in three, two, one, smile. All right, for the second page, next page, get ready in three, two, one, smile. All right, and the last page, get ready to smile, okay? In three, two, one, smile. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, and all, we, we would also like to thank our VIPs and all the guests for gracing our event today. We truly appreciate it. On behalf of the organizing committees, thank you all for making time despite your busy schedules to join us today. It's been our pleasure to host this event and we wish you all a pleasant day. I'm Harleen. I am Yongju, signing off. Goodbye, Goodbye and see you next time.